architecture um it's something to be very like aware of i think uh in the Palais de Tokyo the architecture is uh in the show not more stripped down to the bare bones so uh i was interested in having air um perspective. and perspective and um space around the art pieces that are in the show. Polke. Um, yeah, Sigma Polke was very influential in my thought processes about art for a long time. I think I saw his work uh, first in the Museum Ludwig. He had a big um, retrospective there. And I was super impressed, like going through the show. I, w I wasn't really aware of what, I, uh, what I, I didn't expect anything. And uh, the more and more I was going through the show, the more uh, I was thinking like how experimental and free he was with his, uh, with dealing with his own oeuvre and how relentless in a way. And I think like Sigmar Polke in the realm of the um, German artists that, that um, were in this generation, like he dealt with the um, being an artist in that time and also with his like Germanness in the way that I can relate a lot to like very, uh, in, a, in a way torn. And uh, I think that's, that shows in his work. Yes. I have visited the Palazzo Grassi with a Polka installation when I came to Venice in 2016, the first time I visited the uh, German pavilion and the Giardini and everything to plan the show together with Susanne Pfeffer and we went and saw uh, Sigmar Polka's exhibition there and um, we saw the works that you see downstairs in the exhibition space and I was... Uh, I was overwhelmed. I uh, I looked at and there were uh, as well. You could see um, the black and white photographs, the super exposures and double exposures that he made in the German pavilion. And one of them you can see downstairs. And downstairs, it's absolutely amazing. Subject, right? It's German yeah, German <laughs> story. So. Um, I think every artist, like growing up in Germany, like learning about art and books, and uh, and then even going to art school in one of the German art schools, like uh, has to deal with it in some way. And for me, it is uh, it was very much topic and an issue, and of course. Um, a subject that I had to have a discourse with myself with when I was invited to do the German pavilion. In a way, the um, the idea of a national pavilion as such was like filling me with something that I was very uncomfortable with. So I think, and then on the other hand, like relating to it and the artists that I've shown there and uh, um, and like the choice of what I'm go going to do there uh, was very much um, like um, like an Auseinandersetzung, you would say, uh, <laughs> in German. Also with uh, the idea of um, of the national pavilion as such, and of course of its of its history. So um, I think my relation to it is in in a way. Uh, a very, a very a torn one. Like I grew up in a, in a household that was like um, an anti-fascist household. So I, we, like my parents, like are in the generation after the generation um, that uh, their parents were like, um, like being like adults during the war and had decisions to make uh, like there. And so they were in a way like dealing with that uh, in 
a way that I thought was like there's not only like one way. So uh, I think they tried to raise us, me and my brother, with a uh, very strong like um, sensitivity uh, for that very issue and conscious. Um, but on, on the other hand, it was, like, was a household full of traditions, and like so, um, yeah, it's. It I think was. Um, is it a burden? I I think it is like, like, yes, of course. But on the other hand, like it's a chance to. Um, to deal with things with. Uh, with with that in mind and also to have like I'm always for as much information out there as possible that uh, deal with history and with uh, a topic that is dealing with history and then of course like it is affecting me as a person and as a political thinking human being and I think uh, that's my responsibility and on the other hand, of course, it's like I'm an artist and like my work is um, foremost itself and it shouldn't be like a stand-in for my uh, political like viewpoints. And um, and I think it, it's, uh, of course, it's uh, surrounded by its history, every art that is made in every period. Yeah. And um, so is mine. Melancholy. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It's interesting that you bring this up in this um, exhibition because I think there was a lot of melancholy, melancholia like uh, palpable and visible in the la latest like two years of our time. Um, but of course, it's also something that uh, that I think speaks through my work. Uh, it, it's not always the, um, it's not always like a feeling that I like kind of portray in there because it comes from from me as a person. But I think it's there. There is something that is questioning uh, happiness as such, and the um, yeah, the happiness of life uh, as but such. Next question is happiness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about happiness? Um, I think it's a it's something that is a kind of like happiness as a construct. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like, exist. I think it exists. Yes, of course. Like everything, some in some what way or another exists in the world. Mm, did you feel it in the exhibition? No. No. But there is ah, some... see, yes, I I felt it with a polka. <laughs> okay. Because it, there was kind of grandiose. Yeah, and you you see and, and the perspective and, happiness is and like the connected. architecture g gave me happiness. Yes. Okay. No, but you are you are good, huh? I'm replying to your question. <laughs> <laughs> what about you and happiness? Yeah, I think like happiness for like for me it doesn't have to to do with like uh, a monumental ins installation like or uh, set and scene of like an art piece but I think I also I'm also happy when I see Polka's works <laughs> <laughs> so yeah things like art makes me happy in a way but um, Kafka oh Kafka did you read that I like thank Kafka for yeah <laughs> um yeah, I think Kafka is very influential or has been, especially for uh, the works that I did like in the very beginning of my career. I think Angst and especially Faust, uh, he has always been like, or his uh, works has always been like a big source of inspiration. And some, in somewhat way, like some absurdity in uh, the figures in Kafka, I, like I, I feel, deals with how the figures 
uh, are used or how the absence of figures is used in, in my exhibit here. Uh, and as especially like the, the notion of never arriving somewhere is something that uh, I can and the nightmare? relate to. And the nightmare for sure, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Merci.